I'm Vern Thayer, and this is Capture Nature's Beauty. Welcome to episode 11. And um, today, I figure we're going to do a winter scene. It's coming on us real quick. This here is uh, a place in Hopedale. This is actually the museum they have over there. And it's pretty plain, nothing elaborate, a lot of blue. So that would be a good challenge for a change. And there's a little bit of highlight here. But the trick is these shadows and trying to give some character, some interest. And like the snow, you could have just a blank white snow and it's not going to have much interest. So we're going to try to make, make it more interesting. All right. I've drew, uh, drawn it out here so that it's ready. And I'm going to do is put in the dark areas first. OK, my colors over here, I have titanium white, cadmium yellow deep, Indian yellow, alizarin crimson. And what was this one? This was a green umber, green umber. And I have cobalt blue, French ultramarine blue, and frozen blue. OK, and medium here I have is liquid. OK. All right, so I'm going to do a very thin wash with this to get started. So we'll mix up the color. Like I said, I'm going to do my, my docks first. OK. And I'll get um, that's kind of a reddish. I know the building. It's a red building. But the shadows darkens it. But <clears throat> I'm going to do a glaze on top, which will darken it. And I think I'm going to let some of the, the red show through. Remember, just because that's the way the picture is, it doesn't have to stay that way. You have a license to change whatever you want. You can take trees in, out, put them in, move them, and do whatever you think makes the picture look better, whatever you like. You're, the, you're in charge. You're the, the artist. OK, now, <clears throat> I think I'll get a little bit of Indian yellow. Indian yellow is a transparent yellow. And I think I'll darken that just a bit. Well, that, that's a bit and a bit more. Wow. OK. It's going to be just a wash anyway. Got a soft brush here. A little bit of trips there, just wet the, the hairs. Yeah. I'm not using any oil on this because. <clears throat> It's going to be very thin, transparent, and I want it to dry fast. Yeah. So we'll put my dock in here. Trying to stay within the lines. Not very good at that. I think I'll darken that up just a hair.
little dark and I want it. I want to keep some of that red, like I said, because I want to glaze it. So we'll come along here. There we go. I think that's going to be I'm doing this just so I know that this is clapboard. Okay, <clears throat> we got that down. This over here is trees, and they have a kind of a purplish. Far away, it's very dark. I think I'm going to add some green to it. I know it's it's very dark, but I want a little bit of green to it. And again, if it's not dark enough, I can always put a glaze on it. Well, that's that's very dark. I don't want that. That's too dark. You'll notice I'm not using a lot of white. I'm not looking for chalky color yet. That's still a bit dark. All right. I have a separate palette knife for my whites. Just something I do. I like to keep my whites clean. All right, that's better. And these trees are a little this would dry. I can use still the same darkness because I will be putting some texture on this tree. Yeah, I'm not uh, trying not to draw pencils. And by that I mean straight lines. Especially this tree, as you, as you can see, this tree here is, these limbs are all over the place. I don't think there's a straight limb in there at all.
Sometimes you see a, a scene that looks beautiful, and, but there's something not quite right as you look at it and study it. And some, a lot of times it's composition. Something isn't right. That's close enough for me. There's so many complains that one of the limbs is not like the limb on the tree. Well, that's, they're right. <laughs> it's not. Wasn't ever meant to be. One of the things we do when we paint landscapes, we're uh, somewhat like magicians. We would give the illusion. Showing, trying to show what interests us. And sometimes that's not a physical thing that excites the artist. It might be something totally unrelated, but... Okay, that's good for, for the blues. I got to have different blues. It's not just one solid blue. We've got a darker blue here. And as you can see, it gets lighter down here, and it gradually gets lighter. The sun's right over here, just behind that. And you can see how the light just creeps around the corner just a bit. We'll uh, have to put that in. That adds a lot. But for now, we're going to do the sky. And we could do a solid blue and a solid... And that's pretty much the way it looks, but brush strokes and and different slightly different color mixing it in can give us some texture and color and different values here that's what i'm looking for slightly different values touch of that Okay, and maybe maybe a touch. See what that does. That's a little bit more blue for down there. All right. I'm going to use a very precise brush. This little chip brush out of the hardware store. All right. I'll put some. I'm not being very exact here. I just want to get some variety. Got to go a little bit light up. Get this lighter stuff here. Now 
the sun is behind right here. So we're going to make the sky right in there a little bit lighter. And it'll turn a yellow and very light. Right there. Now, I don't care if I overlap into those trees I put on there because that's going to be done over with a Nova painting. That's where the sun's going to be, right there. Yep. Now we can put some clouds in if we want. Clouds there. You just take some. We got a white canvas underneath. And that uh, gives us some clouds. Now the clouds are shadows on top because the sun is below it. And the clouds that are way down here, <clears throat> they, uh, they are further away. And that means usually you, you make them a little bit smaller. Now, of course, you could have a big cl cloud down there. But again, we want to do the illusion of distance here. So sometimes it's just as fun and interesting to take away as it is putting it on. Take someone to paint away. So I got the clouds leading this way. The wind's kind of like blowing it up like that. I think this should be something more to this one. You step back. You want to step back and be able to see the whole picture. You get up close, you're seeing a small thing, small area. That's too blue right there. And um, you want to step back so you can see the picture as a whole how it fits in together. 
Now see, I can see this is too abruptly changing too much. So I blend it a little bit. Okay, now, this is blue in the back, but it's a different blue. It's a different blue, it's a darker blue. And even if it wasn't, I'd want to change it. That will help show that that's the sky and that's the snow. I got paint all over me Look already. Look at that. Hi, sweetie. I can't pet you. I got paint on my hands. Yeah. Let me dry my hands. I got Bailey here, my daughter's golden retriever. She goes with me every day, pretty much. Yeah, well, her mummy's a teacher, working. And we do all kinds of fun things, don't we, Bailey? Yes, look at that tail go. Wow. We do walks. That's a girl. I just love that dog. Oh. We go on adventures together. All right. Let's see what we can do here. How's this going to work? Let's see. This is much like a wash. Now I don't care if some of the blue goes up into there. That's all right. I have this. This is very watery. Now, funny enough, <clears throat> the sun isn't hitting over here. So that's fairly dark, which is to our advantage because being dark will make the light here, this light from the sun, make it look that much brighter. You can't have lightness without darkness. You can't have darkness without light. The darker it is, the brighter the light looks. And see, we got some variation there, which I like, but it's too light because this is in the shadow. This has some sun hitting it, but over in here, it's pretty much shadow. What do I got? I gotta have to. I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit of Larism Crimson, just to darken it up a hair. Darken this up a little bit. I could do that with a glaze afterwards, but I think I'll do it right now. A lot of it. 
love of the darkness. That darkness up in there. This is really dark here. Now I'll have to get some lighter color later on to show some variation. Okay, this is dark right in here too. The shadow. Shadow starts there. Okay. There we go. And this goes down here. For a shadow, which is pretty dark. Okay, and this here is just very lightly until it comes out and follows this right around here. <clears throat> it's darker on this side. It's darker here. It gets a little bit lighter up there. And of course, we got this here up here, it's pretty dark. I should have started in the middle here with that first swipe. As you can see, it got real dark at the top. And it's harder to adjust that when it's right on the edge layer. But see, it doesn't matter how long you've been painting, you will make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. No matter if they've done it for 10 years or if they've done it for 100 years. Everybody makes mistakes, and it's not the end of the world. So anybody that's starting out and their painting don't come out as good as they wanted it to, because they made a mistake here or there, you're not alone. Even the masters make a mistake. The trick is, how do you fix it? When a mistake happens, an accident happens, it's not what you want. The master will know how to fix it. That's the big difference there. Okay. Now this here, I'm going to have to put a little lightness here, right there. And I need a little bit of light here. See, this paint is still <clears throat> somewhat wet, and that allow me to take some paint off, which will make it look lighter. This is going to be... Again, I'm not laying a lot of paint down here. You can hear the brush rubbing it. Got to do it later. <clears throat> I'm 
may uh, add a lot of white. I like to add some liquid because white takes a while to to dry. This is blended in a bit, so I'm softening that line. Okay, now we can add a little interesting texture here. Just taking the brush, just tapping it, drag, dragging it along a little bit. Just want to put some interest there. I'm not really drawing anything in particular. I'm going to let the viewer look at it and say that looks like this or that looks like a mountain of snow maybe. They plowed it there, I don't know. But give the viewer something to look at. Let him participate in your painting. Let him try to figure some things out. Okay. Now, you know, we could actually do some shadow. Okay, the shadows are on top. Just easy does it, easy does it. And again, it's darker here than over here, so we're going to wipe some off. Maybe get some white into it. white and I want to highlight this right in here just a little bit <clears throat> because of this darkness in the back you'll have, we'll have some nice contrast so let's take let's see what we can do here More white. Let's, let's do this one here. Leave that little ridge there. I like that. There we go. And then right in front of here, it's, it's very light colored. Got some shadow there. And we got some shadow there. There's some darkness down here and sketchy here and there. I'm not going to try to do exactly like that, but I do like the way it breaks it up. So I think I'll do a little bit of that myself. Okay. Put a little bit there. Just suggesting. Yeah. 
this I know is going to be DACA. That I know. And it goes up over here. This is DACA too. And this is DACA. It comes up. Okay, and we have some darkness there. What do we got over here? Up on this bump, there's some darkness. Now this is snow that's packed up on the roof, so you don't have to be too exact. I think it's going to be a little bit more red. Yep, that's better. That's better. Uh, that's me going outside the line. Story of my life. Stay inside the lines. Take some of that purple and add some of that purple down here.
this is further away over the hill so it's not going to be as dark as this and I'm going to make this a little bit darker I might even put some texture on that after it's dry Let's see if I can do this this is a different type of tree it looks darker than the than I want it. Let's see. How does this work? <clears throat> How does this work? All right, let's get this one in. This is a suggestion. Okay, now the telephone poles, I'm not putting them in. I don't see a need to have the telephone poles in there. But we will need the railing. But that'll have to be another day when that's dry. I think that's about it for today. We'll let this dry.